How do you feel now, honey? Don't feel fair. Don't feel fair. Hello, I'm Dr. Doris Rapp. I'm a pediatric allergist and environmental medical specialist. Do you have a youngster who's very sad? Do they cry? Do they look unhappy? Well, sometimes, believe it or not, it's not a psychiatric problem. The problem is that the brain is being affected by an allergy. Instead of getting asthma in the lungs or hay fever in the nose, their brain is affected and they're depressed and sometimes they're very depressed and suicidal. I'd like to show you this little girl. She's eight years old and she is depressed from fluoride. The history is as follows. She was fine and they moved to a new city and the doctor said, you need fluoride tablets because the water isn't fluoridated in this city. And she, the, she was put on fluoride. And her mother noticed that she was getting more and more and more depressed. She went back to the doctor and said it was fluoride and he of course said, no, that can't be. And eventually they put her in a psychiatric hospital in New York City where they again, the mother said, it could be fluoride. And they assured her that it was not. And even though she was there for a long period of time, they didn't help her a bit and they tried to blame the parents of all things. But at any rate, at some point, the mother signed her out because she heard about me and she came to see me. The first thing I said is, give me the fluoride. We immediately made an allergy extract so that we could test her for fluoride. We put in one drop of the fluoride allergy extract and she had been drawing pictures and all of a sudden she became sad and she put tears on the dog pictures and the face pictures that she had done and then she started to cry and there's a tear that falls down one of her cheeks and she said she's very sad. How do you feel now, Marcia? I can't hear you, honey. And then we gave her a different dilution of the fluoride allergy extract and within eight minutes she was no longer nearly as sad as she had been before and she stopped crying and she drew a picture at that time of a happy dog. So what does this mean? This means that some children are sick because of chemicals. That it is possible to figure out which chemical is causing the problem and to treat them so they don't have the symptoms. This child's IQ went from 57 to 125 over a period of about a year and a half once she was untreated because her intellectual ability had also been interfered with, with by the fluoride and by molds. She was very sensitive to those. The fluoride tablets that she took? That she took at home at home and eight days after she had taken them she became sad and within a month after she'd taken them she was extremely depressed and her parents have been trying now for how many years two for two years seeing neurologists psychologists and psychiatrists and going into a psychiatric hospital and no one would test her for the fluorides because no one believed that fluorides could affect her how she felt how she uh, behaved now, how do you feel now Good. Good. Are you ready to go eat lunch? Okay. So there is hope, Mom. If you have allergies in your family, and there's even a remote possibility that, that a depressed youngster or adult in your family could be reacting to something, check with an environmental medical specialist. Just go to my website. Read my books. They'll tell you about children and adults that have been suicidal and very depressed and how many catastrophes can be prevented if you figure out what's causing the problem and either get rid of the cause or treat them for the cause. There is help available. My name is Dr. Doris Rapp. The website is drrapp.com. The book that will probably help you the most is Is This Your Child's World or Is This Your Child? Good luck. Keep looking at my little edits on the internet and I hope you'll find other little tips that will help you figure out the answers as to why your family or some member in your family is sick. Thank you and goodbye.